Welcome back to Average Guy DIY. Today we're just going to build a temporary work shelf for all these extra lubricants and sprays that we've collected since the beginning of this garage build. I'm just going to build it from a piece of all this scrap wood that's back here. I found a really nice piece that fit perfectly between the studs, so I just matched it up and struck my lines. As you can see, the garage is not insulated, so this is just a temporary utility shelf. All the measurements I do today are just by eye, nothing in depth. I decided to use the circular saw to cut the first initial lines. I didn't expect it to cut so deep through, but it still kept the wood intact. The wood actually ended up being a little too long. I forgot I don't have that much room uh, with the circular saw, so I switched to the hand saw. Everything here is pretty straightforward. I'm literally just cutting out the notches that are going to slide over the 2x4 studs. As you can see, it looks like the cuts have passed the mark, but they haven't. They stop right where that pencil mark is. At this point, I switch to the jigsaw just to get a nice finished cut and square off my ends. If you're ever using a jigsaw and you find there's no room for the blade, just start by making two angular cuts and then you'll be able to do your final parallel cut. Jigsaws are one of my favorite tools. You don't even need a brand new one, even the old ones still work really, really well. If you look here, you can really see how to make that angular cut and then finish off doing your parallel cut. Uh, with a jigsaw because there's just no room to get the blade in there. It's always nice when you're done cutting something and it fits perfect right in place. The whole shelf will just be held together with six screws, two screws into each uh, stud support. And that's it, you just load her up. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Enjoy your day.